the touching story of a world boxing monster converting to Islam. Bernard Hopkins is one of the world boxing legends who converted to Islam. His hard life journey led him to find guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bernard Hopkins is the first boxer in the world to hold four major world boxing championship titles. The man born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, January 15, 1965, is also recorded as the oldest boxer to ever hold the middleweight championship in a professional boxing championship. Thanks to this achievement, Hopkins was named the world's best boxer in 2001 by The Ring magazine and the World Boxing Hall of Fame. According to BoxRec, Hopkins made his debut in 1988 and retired in 2016. Throughout his career, he recorded 55 wins, 8 losses, and 2 draws. Long before achieving success in the world of boxing, Hopkins had a bitter life story. Since he was young, he has been accustomed to the hardships of life on the street and often commits crimes. Going to prison was no longer unusual for young Hopkins. In fact, when he was a child, Hopkins spent 18 years in prison, along with nine of his colleagues because of mugging and stabbing him three times. While in prison, he discovered his passion for boxing. Thanks to his good behavior in prison, he was only held for five years. After that, he decided to enter the world of boxing, while making boxing an escape from his previous life. Not only did he decide to enter the world of boxing, Hopkins also took a big step and decided to become a convert. Unbeknownst to many people, he often prays before fighting. For him, boxing is his job, and he considers himself capable and still strong. Reporting from the Muslim Observer, Hopkins is very fanatical about the Islamic religion, even though he has never shown his identity as a Muslim. Hopkins once shouted at a journalist after the WTC bombing by terrorists on September 11, 2001. At that time, journalists asked him about Islam and terrorists. He was furious. Not all Muslims are the same as the perpetrators, he stressed in a high voice. Idolizes Muhammad Ali. The boxer nicknamed the Executioner once said that the world's legendary boxer, Muhammad Ali, was a figure who inspired him in life. Ali's influence on the world and your hometown to understand that you are special and great. You can be the next Muhammad Ali, maybe in your home environment, community, company, inspiring others, said Hopkins in a video on the ES News YouTube channel. That's where you inherit the spirit of Muhammad Ali. Helping each other and looking after your family, your brothers and fellow humans, he said. Bernard Hopkins Islam, the world boxing executioner. World boxing fans are certainly familiar with the name Bernard Hopkins. He is the executioner, the executioner. This nickname was given because of his ability to defeat his opponents in the boxing ring. It is recorded that he has succeeded in knocking out a number of big names in the middleweight class. Either by technical knockout, TKO, knockout, KO, or absolute number wins. Among the tough opponents he has defeated are Oscar De La Hoya, Roy Jones Jr., Felix Trinidad, Antonio Tarver, and Glenn Johnson. Bernard Hopkins started his professional boxing career in 1988. He is an American boxing star. His name became widely known to the American and world public because of his success in defending a record 20 times as world middleweight boxing champion. The man born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, January 15, 1965, is the first boxer in the world to hold four major world boxing championship titles. He is also recorded as the oldest boxer to ever hold the middleweight championship in a professional boxing championship. Thanks to this achievement, by The Ring magazine and the World Boxing Hall of Fame, Hopkins was named the world's best boxer in 2001. Hopkins grew up and was raised by his parents, Bernard Hopkins Sr. and Shirley Hopkins, in the Rosen Raymond area. When he was 13 years old, he was involved in a crime, 
he mugged and stabbed the person three times. For his actions, he had to serve 18 years in prison along with nine of his colleagues at Greaterford Prison. While serving his sentence in prison, Hopkins witnessed many crimes committed by fellow inmates, from rape to murder of fellow prisoners. During his most difficult years while in prison, he discovered his passion for boxing. Because he behaved well, he was then only imprisoned for five years. After leaving prison, he decided to use boxing as an escape from his previous life. His journey in the boxing ring did not go smoothly at first. He was fired from the club that housed him because he lost a fight, until finally he entered middle-class boxing. In that class, his debut started off sweetly. In a match against Greg Page at Blue Horizon on February 22, 1990, he was declared the unanimous winner. After this first win, between February 1990 and September 1992, Hopkins managed to score 20 wins without a loss. Of the total wins he achieved, 15 of them were knockout wins. A total of 11 wins, including those he recorded in the first round. Because of that, the intermediate title was attached to his waist. In the 22nd match, on May 22nd, 1993, Hopkins' supremacy in the IBF middleweight class hit a rocky road. He was defeated by boxer Roy Jones Jr. This defeat is of course very painful. Because his career as a tough boxer nicknamed the Executioner was tarnished. Although later, he was able to avenge his defeat against Roy Jones Jr. several years later become Muslim. Not only did he decide to enter the world of boxing, he also took a big step in his spiritual life. He chose Islam as his guide. Some say that Hopkins said two sentences of the creed while he was still in prison. There are also those who say that he converted to Islam after breathing free air. There is not much literature that reveals how he first became interested in Islamic teachings. Outside the boxing ring, Hopkins lives a normal life. He is the husband of Jeanette Hopkins, whom he has been married to since 1993 and the father of a daughter named Latrice. Being a Muslim does not prevent Hopkins from continuing his career in the world of fist fighting. In fact, unbeknownst to many people, he often prays before fighting. For him, boxing is his job. And, he considers himself capable and still strong. A true soldier will not give up, no matter whether they grew up in the suburbs or otherwise. I won't give up. That's why I'm here. I have to work hard and be honest with myself, he said. Even though he never showed his identity as a Muslim, he was very fanatical about the Islamic religion. Never mention negative Islamic teachings in front of him if you don't want him to get angry. Because, that happened when he was about to fight against Trinidad. At that time, some time after the WTC bombing by terrorists on September 11, 2001, a journalist asked him about Islam and terrorists. He was furious. Not all Muslims are the same as the perpetrators, he stressed in a high voice. In his daily life, Hopkins also looks calm. Even though he once stabbed someone, it seemed like a bitter experience that he had to change. He didn't want to sink into a dark life like that anymore. For him, that act was really bad. In Islamic organizations, he joined the Nation of Islam, NOI, which was founded by Elijah Muhammad. Every time he goes into the boxing ring, two of his colleagues from the NOI always accompany him with prayers. When asked why he didn't change his name like the others after converting to Islam, Hopkins said it wasn't that important to him. Islam is not about names, but about attitudes and actions as well as belief in the Creator, he said.
When truth is hurled against falsehood, falsehood perishes, for falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. They, the disbelievers, want to extinguish the light of Allah with their mouths. But Allah will perfect His light even though the disbelievers hate it. It is He who sent His Messenger with guidance and the religion of truth to prevail over all religions. And you see the people entering into the religion of Allah in multitudes. The world embracing Islam. Comment. Follow us. Please like. Subscribe.